All right, guys, here's the next project. This is some sort of uh, sand machine for a golf course. I don't really know. He said it injects sand into the bunkers, I'm guessing, if you know anything about golf. But um, looks like this tab broke. It looks like it's a mounting tab of some sort to go on another machine. Um, crazy thing is, he said this is like brand new, this thing, and it's like 70, 75K for... 75 grand for whatever this machine is and the rest of it and it already broke so we're gonna clean all that up we're gonna add gussets he he told me he wants gussets added um for strength which i don't blame him so uh let's just uh take care of that and get this one done today let's uh go ahead and clean up these cracks kind of just take the high spots off them kind of twisted and stuff a little bit but take the couple spots clean them down get it lined up and start tacking So, how I go about doing repairs like this, something that has broke off and it's two pieces, I will clean it up, I'll tack it on. Most people would probably bevel it, do this. I've done that before. I find what works best for me is tack it like this and then run a grinder through this, open it up, bevel it that way, put a pass on, and then I do the same thing on the opposite side. And then I usually grind down on the opposite side to where I put my first pass on the opposite side of that. That way I ensure that I've fully penetrated and it'll be a fully pen penetrating weld. So that's just how I do it, something smaller like this. If you guys um, have watched a previous video of mine, I did the same thing on the thumb for the excavator, Kubota excavator I fixed. So it works well, haven't had any problems with it. That's just how I do it. So for instance, right here, I got a tack. I'll just run the grinder right along there, put a pass in and flip it over, do the same thing on the inside and it'll be good. So let's uh, see what kind of gussets I have laying around because I usually save some off pieces and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. All right, got my two gussets cut out. We're gonna go there and here, make sure they fit. They're looking good. So I'm gonna let these cool off for a second, clean up the burrs. Uh, think of a game plan for possibly putting some gussets back here and we'll start getting this thing going.
right, here we go. Got some welds in there. We got some welds in there. Got to clean that up a little bit, but I did get welds up there. I might do a couple more passes on the outside just to get this thing really rigid. So, but yeah, that's uh, I don't know what time it is, but not too bad. I think I'm gonna do a gusset right here, and I don't believe I'm gonna do gussets on the other side because these should suffice enough. It's just. Uh, these should be fine once I put the third one in. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do the gussets on this just because this is pretty strong and rigid on this. This is pretty robust tube, I will say. So we'll uh, get the last one cut up and then this thing should be done. There's the gussets. I think that'll be just fine. That thing will not break off again. And if it does, then someone's beating it with a sledgehammer. But that's done. Let me clean up and uh, kind of go over the rest and we're done here. All right, let's try this again. New can. Get it while it's hot. All right, you get the drill. All right, so let's talk about this real quick. Kind of uh, the focus maybe on this video is, so this is for the golf course next door, right? Quick two, three hour job. You guys charge whatever you want. I charge them what I charge. And this kind of job, he just stopped by and looked at it. He's gonna come down with the loader and pick it up. But this kind of job, and he said it looked great. Well, obviously, we'll see how it holds up with the, apparently the part I fixed is the vibrating part. So there's a lot of stress on there. Um, and right before he left, I said, hey, you know, I'm right here. You guys got anything else? Let me know. I, you could always just bring it down or I can go, well, go up to your shop and do it. He's like, yeah, yeah, we definitely have some stuff um, later in the year because, you know, golf courses obviously slow down in the late fall early winter he's like i got a bunch of buckets for equipment that i need new cutting edges stuff like that so definitely we'll be bringing some stuff down so the moral of the story is these small jobs for uh we'll call this golf course a big company these small jobs for big companies will open up doors for you down the road and that was kind of my intention well, not my intention. I'm going to do a job like this, but you do something good for somebody this small, they're going to hire you back if you do good work. So that's just a lesson for anyone starting out. People who are like me, do it on the side for a little cash. Even if you're starting out your own business, which obviously everyone should know. And if you're new here, I don't own a business. I do all, this is all side work. But it should open up the doors and get you more work essentially bigger it could lead into bigger jobs little jobs big jobs whatever but it's just kind of the premise i guess this whole video is going to be based on is these little weird bs kind of jobs will hopefully down the down the road land you nice paying good paying jobs and you gain a good customer out of the deal so I just wanted to hit on that. That's kind of the, the moral of this video. After I kind of did this and I talked to him, I kind of wanted to throw this in there. So 
just kind of share it with anyone who watches. So let's uh, just end this out and we'll be back on the next one. It's actually been picking up side work recently. So haven't filmed a couple small jobs, but it's just uh, how the tables turn, I suppose. My fence guy, the guy that installed my new fence right there, he uh, I already did a job for him. He's got trailers, equipment, log splitter for wood. He's like, I'll, I'll, I'll spread your name and I'll, I'll bring more stuff once I uh, stop using it for a little bit. So once your name gets out there, people start uh, hearing about you. That's how you get the side work. So that's at least how it's worked for me. And uh, hopefully the golf course likes this and I can get a little more of their work. But that's it. We'll call it a day. Catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.